to And Here's Modi. Hi, everybody. We're back. Oh, my God. Tell me this song hasn't grown on you. I love it. No, it's the best song I ever. I love it. I don't know where we found that. When Leo gave me the, uh, the app to go find songs, I said, this is, this is it. And we are here on And Here's Modi. And we have an amazing guest, This an energy, a ball of energy. She came into the studio. Pow. Uh, her name is Dana. Dana. And she has this company called Via Maris. And um, and she's redesigned Judaica, right? Yeah. It, how would you describe yourself? Let me just, instead of me messing it up, go no, ahead. No, you did great. That was awesome. Um, so the brand is called Via Maris, and it's a modernist Judaica brand. So we make Judaica. Okay. But all legit, all real, real, real Judaica. It's real, yeah. It's definitely real. If you order something, you will receive it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I meant more of it. It's like... Um, it's legitimately, it's it's like, you know, you know for, I'm looking here, there's two different types of Hanukkah menorahs. Now, a Hanukkah menorah can be as elaborate as, as you know, as what the Chabad guys have in the corner, yeah. or it could be, you could literally take a piece of tin foil and make little, you know, totally. if, it, and, it, and it's legit. There's, there's rules of what a menorah has to be, but these are so beautiful. And the colors, um, those of you not... Um, watching this uh, just when you have a minute go to uh via underscore Mar maris on instagram and the colors are sensational you really have uh w when leo caught this on on instagram he goes oh this is this is us this is this is it and it's beautiful what was your inspiration for doing this the it's a very long story i had the idea for modern judaica for a really long time i had been looking for stuff and never found anything and I uh, specifically really was looking for a mezuzah and I could not find anything that was to the style of my apartment. And I started asking my Jewish friends, like, where do you have something? What does your mezuzah look like? And I'd say about half of my friends said, I actually have no idea. Like, I'll have to take a picture when I get home and I'll, I'll text it to you. And then the other half actually said, I don't have anything, but I'd like something. And if you find something, let me know. Like, I'm also looking. And it really was like a 50-50 split, and it really sparked this idea that other people, and it wasn't just me, were looking for more of a modern take on Judaica. Um, I always said, like, I'm the biggest fan of the more traditional stuff, and I collect those pieces, and I have a lot of family heirlooms. But to contextualize it in my own apartment and in my own home and sort of just, I don't know who I am personally, I always felt a bit of a disconnect. And then... I'd say, it, well, I had this idea. I was really resistant to actually doing it myself. It's like, you know, having an idea and then doing it is two completely different things. Uh, but towards the end of 2018, after the Tree of Life shooting, and then what was subsequently like a very um, scary holiday season in New York um, in terms of anti-Semitism, which kind of cultivated with a big march in January of 2019, I just sort of didn't know what to do. Um, I think we've all been there where you can see the news and absorb the news and you can feel what's happening and it's really hard to know what to do. And sort of this idea about Judaica sort of just circled in my mind as a really small way to kind of just, I don't know, add something positive and modern to the world. Right. And um, I think, you know, I think one of the best ways to fight anti-Semitism is to be a proud Jew. And like, if you can give people like cool tools to do that, regardless of what that means to you, um, you know, I, I hope that it keeps these traditions going for a long time and that people feel like excited about it. Uh, well, you definitely are excited about it and you got us excited about it. And I'm going to show you, the, I don't know if people, the mezuzahs here, it's so stunning. It's this battleship gray is what I'm calling it. Is that, what, what do you call it? It's, it's called noir. Noir. Yeah, but it's more of like an earthy, black. but it's, it's more of like an earthy. earthy. Yeah, there's actually a story behind that. We wanted them to be black, and when we did the coloring, it turned out like that, and we thought it was way better, but we'd already named it. So. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so we just left it, and we were like, it, people have to take it with a grain of salt. It's gorgeous, and just so you know that it's clear, so you can actually, you know, when, when you have the, the cloth, the parchment paper, and it's rolled up, on the on the front it says the Shema Israel prayer, and on the back of it there's a Shin Dalad Yud, and it's supposed to be right. You know, 
it's actually more important to see the Shin Dalad Yud than to give the whole thing with the kiss. To make the connection with the eye on the Shin Dalad Yud, do you see that? Um, in general, all the letters in the Hebrew alphabet, when they are done um, with the is it calligraphy or biosophia? So, yes. So it's they're very special. They have a lot of energy in them. And so when you walk in and you see them, it's really nice. So this mezuzah is absolutely stunning and it's clear. And the technology, look at this. People think you have to bang it with a hammer. You really all you need for mezuzah is just like a little double-sided tape. But this is so beautiful, chic, it feels amazing, and it's got like um what do you call it? It's this? steel, so it's made of steel. Yeah. Um, so it's completely waterproof. It's UV proof. Uh, the glass was the idea to sort of like really, I'd say, show off the scroll, which you kind of forget about what's inside of it sometimes. We actually work with a female scribe in Jerusalem. Um, traditionally, men were scribes, but now there's a lot more women doing this. Wow. Um, I first, love the I'm art here. form. First, first, I'm here. first ar- I love the art form and just kind of really wanted people to actually see it. So that's the vial that you put it in, it totally protects it. It. That is um, so it's cool. It's screwless so too, so good. you can actually, there are hidden screws behind it, and then you can, of course, use um, any side of like double sided tape on right. it. Right, super easy, but it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a, not vial, is it a vial? What do you yeah, call it? Yeah, it's a vial. It's a vial, okay. And it's, you put it in through here and there. It's so chic, and mezuzah is so important. If I, if I tell anybody to buy anything a mezuzah, but make sure you put the, the cloth inside it protects your home mezuzahs are amazing and there's a million stories i can tell you of people who saved their lives you know when the labavitcher rebbe um of sacred memory was when he used to do these things called dollars he used to go around um he used to go p- people would come for a dollar from him and they would tell him things like um I, we're, we're having trouble having children we're having trouble in finance and sometimes he would just visualize and say to them um change the mezuzah on your garage door and people would go to the garage door and they'll see that the that the cloth the the letter ledova door one of the letters is off or broken and they change it and there's, and i had i had two big personal stories with mezuzah that i had them change the mezuzahs in the house, and it whatever the problem was, it changed with people. But the mezuzah is absolutely stunning, and it's clear, and it's gorgeous. Um, okay. Can we hear a little bit more about the? Are you supposed to put them on every door? You said that, and that was Mo, Modi told me that. We, I yeah. So not bathrooms. Right, not bathrooms, and there's one other one. Closets. Closets. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I agree with you in the mezuzah just having like a really powerful something to it that's like it's, undescribable. It's undescribable. So yeah. she, yeah. And the scroll is hand written. Yeah, it's hand written. It takes about three to four hours to do one. Wow. It's a real art. I have some videos of our scribe doing ours, and it's it's so stunning. It really is such a Jewish art. So it's really nice to like to celebrate it. And you know, so I I get my mezuzahs in Williamsburg in this Hasidic. Uh, they have like a floor of a town of a of a brownstone, and it's a bunch of guys That's who are chic. learning super chic, and it's like it's amazing. Not um, anymore, you don't. Now you get your mezuzahs <laughs> from via. This Nets. is uh, the mezuzah cover, not the mezuzah. By the way, if you do not have a mezuzah cover and have a mezuzah, you can take a piece of uh, uh, what's it called saran wrap. Yeah. Put it around with two pieces of tape, and you have a mezuzah on your door. Totally. There's no actual like a. Op- obligations for the case right. itself right. yeah it's really really open it can be any shape it can be made out of anything many jews for some reason just buy the mezuzah and don't even know that there's you have to have a thing inside a cloth inside a parchment and they just put it on their door and so that's okay it's what it is and um anyway so so it, it the technology is so insane now so now you have all these guys who write torahs and they write megillahs the the the, the story of esther and all of these things that have to be handwritten and the letters would be perfect and now they have these computers that check for flaws and it's amazing they can wow. find it's really really cool so your mezuzah is is gorgeous Thank okay you. next hanukkah is coming soon it is really soon this year yeah. You have two types of menorahs here. Tell us about the traditional looking one. The traditional looking one is called the Trace. And this really, the design is truly based on like the most classic shape of a menorah. Uh, it's made of steel, comes in four different colorways. 
it's really I love this piece to display year round. I actually use it as like a sculpture piece on my bookshelf, uh, and it's re- it's a huge seller. It's our, probably our most popular style. Um, and you know the colors overall for the collection were really meant to kind of go with as many types of interiors as possible. So there's definitely things that are more minimal um, and then there's bright colors. So it's really supposed to be something that like can work for a lot of different people in a lot of different homes. And then we have the block Hanukia, which is probably the most modern take in terms of it just being a very new shape. And this has been designed, this is my favorite and actually what I use at home. Uh, this has been designed to be just a really practical, user-friendly piece, which I think when you're using it for eight nights in a row, like it should it should feel nice to use. Okay, so you are in fifth gear. And um, you're amazing and the love that you, you can tell that you're super excited about this. But this, let's just go for beginning here. First of all, those of you who can't see, the colors are gorgeous. It's matte. And the names, and this is clay, and this is what? Sand. Sand, and it's like a yellowish. Uh, a honey Dijon mustard yellowish, and this is just like a blue. This is the type of blue that you post on your Instagram to show that you're pro-Israel. That's this That's this blue. Jewish blue. So like, if you have this color, these are not like the silver, looks like your grandmother smuggled it out of the Holocaust. <laughs> this is really beautiful stuff. And if you just have this on display with two other things that kind of have this color, it's a... It's it's decorating. Totally. It's decorating. You know, it's decorating. This is the original, and you also have. Um, you really thought this through. So, to those of you who are listening and don't really like menorahs, um, it's a pain sometimes to clean them out. But you put these little cups in here, and they're uh, and they're great. And there, you could just pull it out and clean it out and put it back in. Yeah, I mean, one of the really interesting things about sort of, I'd say, revisiting these products is. And I don't want to say no one's done this before. Certainly there's an amazing amount of makers and artisans making Judaica around the world. Um, But it was really nice to actually deal from like a true product design perspective and really deal with the things that I felt were, you know, issues or, you know, took away from the experience. So, for example, like thinking about cleaning the candles where we've all been. I grew up in a family that put aluminum foil underneath everything. And like the Shabbat (sighs) candles went in the sink at the end of the night just in case. So there was like a lot of anxiety about like wax dripping everywhere. So that's definitely in a lot of like the candle products and that thinking. That's so funny. There are are candles now that don't actually. So these are similar to that. So they are, they're considered low drip candles. There's no such thing as a no drip candle if it's a real flame. But I mean, maybe have you found some? We found some um, in a. Uh, I, it was in a flea market, and they were selling this box, and it says no. And I bought it, and they, they look Shabbat style looking candles, and they they melt, and they don't leave anything, and they don't make smoke. Is the so is the wax really shiny? Yes. Yes. Okay. I've seen those. Yeah. They don't work for some. There's some like technical reasons why we don't use that exact kind of wax, but we use something that's sort of like one degree less than that where okay. they're going to drip less they're going to smoke less okay and you have the obviously you have the candles that the the match the color of the menorah it's really beautiful these are i mean for gifts this is it this is like it, it looks- and the price range just so people know so uh, the mezuzah is 75 and the trace is 155 so sort of within that range there's a couple pieces above that but this is the trace this is the trace I'm sorry, this is the trace. This is the... This is the block. This is 225. Okay. So those of you who aren't looking, who don't see this, there's another menorah. One looks like the menorah from the... From the... Vatican. Vatican. From the... From the... Like your regular menorah looking with the... I don't know how to describe it. With the arms. It's with a the classic arms. shape. It's a classic shape menorah. And then this other one looks like a submarine. Like a submarine. And it comes apart completely. First of all, it's sitting here, and you can use the bottom for storage. And then they come together so you can just clean it right out. It, it, it is so chic. It's so chic. It's so chic. And it, it looks could, like there was an architect involved here. Really? Who, how did you design? This one, obviously, we know how you designed. But this one... So I've always worked with product designers for the technical part of all of these pieces. I have none of that background. Okay. But I'd say, like, the ideas for what the ideas really are, I think they're simple to come to 
I think, because there is so much opportunity to kind of play with what's already there. Uh, we knew, I knew that there needed to be something that was really classic. I love this classic shape. I think it's probably one of, I don't know, but definitely one of the oldest design objects in the world, still oh, wow. in continuous yeah. use, like for in its intended use. Um, so having something that just represents that was important, but then wanting to do something that was completely different and really, again, about form and function. Um, it's great when things are beautiful, but they really, really do need to work. So right. to that end, I don't know if you noticed, so the shamash, which is the um, top can head Center. Can candle this, in charge, the, head the, candle yes, the in head charge. Candle, the head candle in charge, okay. So if you notice on this one, there's like the slightest bit of like filling in there. So he actually, or she, as the case may be, sits a little bit higher than all the other candles, which is so genius. Yes. Yeah. The shamash could also be at the at either ends, but but that's okay. But it's yes, it's beautifully designed, and it's going to look gorgeous however you do it. Um, very very nice, and yes, it is one of the oldest uh, architectural, and the original people. I mean, I've always heard all these amazing theories that it's in the bottom of the it's in the Vatican. Yeah. I, you, you think I've so heard too, that right? rumor too. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how, but I, I I keep hearing that rumor, and it hasn't gone away. So. All the Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, when the Jews did all their sacrifices and, um, Le poor Leo, um, a and uh, where do you think all those, there was menorahs and there were the arcs where they did the sacrifices and so the Pope hit it, it's in the, 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 the Vatican has it in the basement, you know. And there's definitely stories of Romans looting some yeah, goods. Yeah, yeah. This be yeah. Now, okay. are, were you surprised at like how much attention you got like yeah you, i mean you've been in vogue you've been in like all of these like super chic not jewish publications you're right uh i was really surprised i i always knew there was going to be a small market for this i felt really like proud of the work and i knew someone would like it if it was just my parents i always <laughs> joked like i always joked like if i don't sell anything i'll just donate everything to like schools and community centers oh, and like we'll call so it a nice. day um i was really moved by sort of the attention um just to have press in to your point like outlets like vogue or architectural digest where you know we know what judaica is no one else does um it's it's nice it it just makes more awareness and understanding for what these products are people kind of know what a menorah is but that's it so no, that's yeah. cool when you look at a menorah you, uh, the first thing i always just it's a time of the year where you have eight days of the energy of miracles and it's yes. nice that it's eight days. It's not like Shabbat. It's 25 hours. It's uh, you have eight. It just reminds you that during this year there will be eight days where you can just connect to magical, mir miraculous energy. Absolutely. And so you see that in the corner of the of the room. It just it brings you. And the Shabbat candles always let you know that the Shabbat is coming up. You know, oh, look, the candles are there, and they are stunning. They are. This is the. This is the. I don't want to say yellow. Sand. Sand. This is sand, and she has the candles that match all the products. So this is the Shabbat candles. Do and you light candles every Shabbat? Uh, yes. Do yes. you? Mostly, yeah. Have yeah. you Have you always? No. I grew up doing it sort of when it was like convenient, I'd say. Um, I grew up in like a reform household, so it was sort of like when we got to it. Uh, but I remember it a lot and didn't really in my 20s. And then as I got older, just started to sort of want – Honestly, just the the break. I really do. I put my phone away. Really? Um, on Friday night, not Saturday, but Friday night, I try to just like read and not watch TV. I do have my you, own. Do, do you do that too on Friday? Do you put your phone Unless up? we're going somewhere uh, um, somewhere else. If I'm staying in the house, I'm dipping a little, like the candles. And it just... That's like me. I might go out for dinner with friends that night, and I won't light the candles. All right, and I'll be on my phone. Let's, right. let's get into this. This is actually a very interesting. What's with the candles? What's with the the woman? I just learned this is supposed to light the candles. That's that's traditional. Yes, it's traditional. Why? Why? So you have a house with a mother, a father, a daughter, yeah. and a yeah, son. Yeah. The How? mother and the daughter light the candles. If the house doesn't have a. Uh, 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 
a mother and a daughter or whatever. So whoever's house it is. In college, I used to light a candle. But why are the women? Because usually, traditionally, the men are supposed to do the things. But why is the why the why is why is the you're woman? bringing light into the world? Who do you think is better to channel light? Into is that the right? World? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's one that might work for you. I think it's mostly based on tradition. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's more. It's more of a traditional thing. Yeah. It's uh. It's. Okay, so you have these beautiful, are these the only types of candle for, for, for Shabbat? There's only one yes. design? yep. And it's beautiful. And it is, um, again, that same feel, that matte metal. It's It's been powder coated. Powder coated. I love that. Wow, yep. so beautiful. Um, and it matches the candles. And what I really love here is that you have a kiddish cup, the cup that you make the blessing on the, on the, on the wine and it matches the candles and it's a regular glass wine it's a, a it's a, a, a regular it's a regular glass cup and it's it's just and it's legit that that's how much wine you need and it just matches and it's beautiful and it's young yeah it's I kind hope of so. a young thing you know i use them throughout the week Oh, to, these two? You to do drink? Yeah. yeah totally. Oh, i love that yeah why not i'm not sure how i feel about that but <laughs> that's too much I think you should have like this is set aside. This is a, a lots of people think deal. that. Yeah. Uh, it's a you know, you something that you're having a different. This is a different. Use, this is used to showing that you're doing it differently. Totally. Have you ever heard of the um, term hidur mitzvah? Mm -hmm. So that is what, for what's that? So it's the idea. It sort of means like the um, beautif decorate. beautification yeah. of a mitzvah beyond its minimum requirements. And so that's the idea that, you know, if you light the candles, great, but if you make it really beautiful, even better. It's more of a oh, mess. Yes. Love you that. Give, give it all. Give it, give it, give it, to, give it to them. Don't, if you, if, you, if you're stuck that. in a hotel room and you don't have a menorah, okay, get it, get a piece of tinfoil. But if you don't, boom, do it. Uh, do it all the way. Im kvar az kvar. If you're doing it, do it. Oh, I'm going to use this with my husband, too. <laughs> like, we need all new. It's a mitzvah. What? <laughs> Once you hear that, it kind of, like, rearranges how you think about it. I That's love what it. I think. Yeah. And um, and the, so we have the menorah. We have the different, uh, two, two different, are there any other colors of this? Yes. So I, essentially everything comes uh, in at least four colorways. So you're oh. just looking at a small selection of a couple products. Uh, yeah. And the idea was just to offer, again, lots of different colors for lots of different types of people. That's amazing. It's a, I'm so happy for you that you, this is working out for you. And it's such a beautiful, I'm so happy that we're involved in this. And uh and so what the what logo else? is gorgeous i see that it's also the details i mean it's really it's details, the attention yeah. to detail that is just spectacular so you're saying that you could just have like eight of these as like wine glasses on the table too yeah like, we do at home i mean that's chic that's chic look i mean these are gorgeous thanks there's and it comes in one other color which is a yellow and a green Mm. Which would match Which this. Which is really nice. Yeah, it's yeah. just like a fresh Which would pop. Match the, the, the yellow Shabbat candlesticks. It's really it's nice for summer. Beautiful. And how are things going? It, great. Give, uh, us, so give us the reaction. <laughs> you Tell know, like good days and are... bad days when you own a business. Uh, the reaction's been phenomenal. I think we have such amazing customers. I mean, people really are enthusiastic about it and what we're trying to do. I think even if it's like not for you, that I think a lot of people can get behind the idea of just trying to like add something positive. Um, we're also, and I didn't mention this, we're a mission-based company. So we have a um, portion of proceeds from all sales go to the ADL. And in our first year, we've raised about $10,000 for the wow. ADL. And that's really through like customer support and rallying customers and foregoing sales and putting more things towards that. So it does feel like it's sort of this wider community effort to just kind of make this bigger um, and keep the tradition going. Can you say what the ADL is in case people don't know? It's the American Defense League. Uh, and it is really, I think, the premier um, organization in America and abroad just fighting hate of all types, uh, but especially with a concentration in anti-Semitism. Yes, beautiful. Yeah, and they do excellent work. And I think, you know, we can't, we can't really, I, I think we need to support organizations that are protecting our, you know, safety to do these rituals yeah. if we're very also nice going to be connection. producing yeah. um, these products. So it's very much intertwined. 
Great. And what's coming? What's next in the uh, in the in your world? What's yeah, the that's next a, product. That's a great question. So we actually have a really exciting holiday collaboration coming out um, soon with an artist, which we're really excited about. And then from there, Can we'll you have the detail. Who yeah, the his is? name is Zach Kitnick, and he's an amazing artist based in Brooklyn. Okay. And I'm excited. I'll show you when we have something to, to show you. Okay. Uh, we're shooting it this weekend, so that'll be really exciting. Uh, we have new colors coming. We have new products. We're working on a challah cover right now. We're working on something for challah the Passover cover. table. Third time challah cover came up in our uh, really in our uh, in our, our podcast. Uh, so it's going to be non metal obviously it's going to be exactly good yeah. that's it's our first soft good so we'll probably do a few more of those as we go in that direction and that's really exciting um and i've never it's funny it's actually been one of the hardest products to do i think because it is so simple that there's few things you can do so it's actually taken a really long time really yeah that's a, that's good for you yeah. good for <laughs> so you. anybody it's... who's celebrating hanukkah and all they're amazing gifts though even if you're not jewish i'd say like 50 percent of our orders are gifts i would say if you have a kid or know somebody going to college this is a gift to give them oh yeah i've been wanting to do like a jewish starter pack like oh, jewish I love starter that. Pack. That's genius it's all i'm thinking <laughs> like about all this bundle of everything you need in a dorm room you know in a cute dorm room you have like these this, this all this stuff the mezuzah especially for the dorm room and the and uh, it's just the 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 student won't be it's like it's it's cheeky it's chic so it's great yeah it has to look good it has to look good it has to look good and otherwise they're not going to display it and I'm so it's so I'm so happy it's such a such a great uh, product that I'm so happy. I think you're the first one we're doing here that's yeah 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 the first uh, collab is this a collab it's um what the hell is a collab <laughs> that's a really good what question what the hell is a collab. A collab is a collaboration. What, yeah, I know, I know that it's two. A, <laughs> it's like when um, Nili really? Lo, Lotan and Target. Okay. No, I know what it is, but like it's no. I mean, so uh, yeah. it's like you take the best of the both things and you mix it up. And I think it requires there to be like a tangible or there's something at the end of it. Okay. So you could like collaborate on a song. You can't hold that, but I think it's like a, a, a tangible something that comes out of it. So we're collaborating here, right? Yes, it's a collab. The best Judaica with the best Jewish comedian. Ha! But no, <laughs> was that a reach? That was amazing. <laughs> Have you become more Jewish, do you think? No. No. Less Jewish. Maybe a little <laughs> less Jewish. Why? 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 No, I don't. I don't mean it like that. I um. I have such. I have such a respect and a fondness, and I find so much comfort in so many of the rituals and traditions that we do, but I don't feel more religious from this. I feel more empowered as a Jewish person, which oh, to I me is that. more important. Yes. Um, I usually say I'm not particularly religious, but I'm very Jewish and very proud of that. Uh, That's and beautiful. That's yeah, really... That works for me. Spiritual. I always say spiritual, but yeah. Yeah. Um, it's 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 great and it's, it's important to have the, the the product that you're buying have a good energy of the people doing it behind you and there's a charity uh, not a charity mm -hmm. a cause absolutely um, and it's it's amazing it's anything else you have in your mind oh, I, I wanted to yeah. show I don't know for people the menorah comes in the packaging here it was, it's a whole thing on on Instagram with packaging oh yeah 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 it's yeah. absolutely um, first of all this looks like the design it. it looks like a speaker coming from Sonos. Right, it, and it's got all of this. Um, look at the, those of you who can see it. Look at that beautiful. Uh, the the. What do you call that? First of all, on the side of the box, it says Modi. Do you want to read that? Everything old is new again. Wow. And then you have that's. Oh the my white. God, that's the one. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. That's a white off white. What is that? This color is called cloud. Cloud. Wow, you nailed this it! It's stunning. Is sick. It's beautiful, and the, just so people understand, like, if you are giving it as a gift, it's it arrives beautifully. It doesn't come in some plastic bag from uh, Yichman's Judaica <laughs> store on the corner of Chuch and, and Coney Island. I've had customers send me pictures of like the Judaica sections at a Walgreens or a Target. Oh, I before. love when they do that. By the way, I love when you walk like during Passover or during Hanukkah in your regular supermarket and they have like a three shelves. It's always the gefilte fish in the <laughs> jar. In the jar next to the, and then they have like the candles, the Hanukkah candles, uh, uh, the the menorah that's like a piece of like yeah. a piece of 
really thin metal with the two little things inside. Um, so that's that. This the colors are amazing. You and, know what's uh, so exciting about this too is that it just feels like you're just getting started. Like there are so many other things that it's for endless. The, yeah, for like the, I mean, I'm just like the, like the honey and the apple and the right. seder plate and like yeah. there's we do have a seder plate. I didn't bring it, but that is another. I'll come back for that one. Yeah, okay. before mm -hmm. before Passover. This before is for Hanukkah. You might like Hanukkah. you might like the trace in this noir color. Oh, I love it. That's all. the one I have up in my in my in my place. Yeah, I lo I love it. I love it's, it. Wait, and there's a story between Via behind Via Maris. The name, yeah. 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 The, yeah via so the Maris. name is comes from it's a Latin term that was given to a big trade route in Israel, sort of during biblical times. Uh, that stretched from roughly what is now modern day Cairo along the Mediterranean, and then it kind of split up um, and went into Damascus. And, you know, we know that at that time, trade in that area was so crucial and important and major trade routes were there. Um, so I loved the idea, firstly, of just like trading goods and sharing ideas and cultures with each other. Uh, and then second, you know, there's a lot of stories from sort of early Zionist days of Zionists kind of like uncovering this long trade route. There mm -hmm. are still markers in Israel for it, for the Via Maris. And I just kind of loved this idea of sort of like renewal. Amazing. And I loved and I liked the name. I sort of when I was yeah. naming the brand, I really wanted it to be two words, which is a very specific thing. Um, so there was a lot of research. <laughs> naming a brand is very hard. Yes. Uh, but this one sort of just stuck. And I just thought it sort of was, you know, there was a story behind it, but not like two on the nose. Doesn't scream. You don't know that it's Jewish necessarily. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. It's very cool. Uh, that story itself uh, was alone. Was just, uh, I, ju I just enjoyed every minute of it. And, uh, and a little history in there. And that's it. So how do people get this? And um, You have to ask her a question. We're not done. I mean, okay. <laughs> Who, who's your rabbi? And not like and not like <laughs> and not like your rabbi of your synagogue. The, who do you go to for spiritual guidance, or who do you go for halachic for for uh, for uh, law of for Jewish stuff? I'd say there no one specific person. Um, I do have a rabbi I consult with on some of these products if I have questions about materials or how I'm using things. Oh, that's um, good. And she's been so helpful and so enthusiastic about what I'm doing since the beginning. Uh, but other than that, what's really interesting about Judaica, like specifically for the brand, is there are very few regulations. You really can do a lot and use a lot. Um, so I think as long as you're just clear with that. Yes. These are all look legit to me. <laughs> Halachically, uh, <laughs> yes, these are all amazing things. And it's uh, just a good, young, fresh energy and super decorative. It's just easy on the eyes. Have you ever walked through Williamsburg during Hanukkah? Yes. And you look through the windows and you can sometimes see like a dozen menorahs through yeah. the windows. It's pretty amazing. That's it's what worth, I'm going for. Yeah, it's worth it like on the last night to yes. go through a walk through the neighborhood. It is so beautiful. I, I love that. I am I live close by um, and we do that every year just kind of. It is. Oh, look. I love but it's that. in some families, I mean, it's traditional. Lots of families have one menorah. It's like your family menorah, but a lot of families have one for each person. Yes. Um, so yeah, I didn't actually realize that. I didn't grow up with that. And I would start getting orders for like multiples and I couldn't figure out I was like oh, people just want to see the colors and they're going to return it and then I oh, realized that's funny oh wow. I was trying to figure out you know it's interesting there's no like case studies really about how this product's going to be you can't anticipate what customers are going to ask you right. and there's really no like case studies of how how much how many menorahs sell a month like those normal metrics that a normal brand might have for a product that I don't know has competitors or has you know like shoes you can easily find out like how many pairs of shoes you know are on average sell in the month of august so it's been interesting to see like the shopping habits and what products people really buy versus maybe what they talk about more um so it's all just information kind of from that uh but yeah we get a lot of people buying multiple um menorahs we get a lot of people buying multiple mezuzahs too and i'm always like that's a lot of bedrooms <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and yes, yes. Sometimes yeah, I'm that's like, a good one. whoa, where do you is sell that the, house? Do you sell the cloth too? Do you sell those? Yeah, so, that is, so okay, that is what so we that's... get from um, a female scribe in okay. Jerusalem. Okay. Um, this woman, Hannah, who really does spend like three to four hours on each one. But you, do, you don't have to have it from, you, you can buy the mezuzah without Correct. the cloth. Just yep. so people who, 
will know that. Um, and I, I, I love menorahs, and I, but I light an oil menorah. Yes, lots of people do. I grew up with an oil menorah too. Yes, we use oil instead of candles, and um, this has. Do you break the glass? Is it the ones that you break at the top? No, they're so amazing now that they come in these packages, all set up. Um, you know what I'm talking so, yeah, about? Yeah, they're like sort of solidified a little bit. Yes, yeah. and you just put it as if it was a candle, and you light it, and and you, it just goes. Okay, and that's just. Okay, and just um, pri- it's the first time I've ever done QVC. You're doing great. JVC, JVC. I, is it, I don't know as the the price is now, but if you in the next thirty second and you say Modi and here's Modi, you get six dollars off whatever. So tell us about the the pricing, just so people should know. Yeah, um, so pricing starts at around seventy five dollars and goes up to currently around three forty five, and there's a huge range of products within there. Um, we do work really hard to keep it like as accessible as possible. The whole point of this is to be out there and in the world and not precious. Okay, it's and where do, where can they buy it? Uh, our website has everything, including exclusive styles, uh, and it's www.via-maris.com. So www.via v i a dash dash. Dash. That's the middle. That's the minus that's sign. That's the minus sign. The minus sign. Yeah. Maris. M A R I S. M A R I S. But, but I trust com. me. Anybody that's dyslexic and a little dyslexic. out of it, it just is is appreciating <laughs> what I'm doing right now. <laughs> no, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's good. Especially yeah. if people are like listening on a commute. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So spell it via, out. Via minus sign Maris dot com and get it and. Um, and I'm so happy that you, I'm so happy you guys made this happen. Thank you. And happy you. Hanukkah. And happy, happy Hanukkah, Hanukkah, guys. Hanukkah's coming. This is, this is the gift. This is the gift. Celebrate eight days of miraculous energy in the world. This is the gift of oh, this, light. Oh, there's something else there? Cards. I'm sorry. I didn't realize we had cards. Oh, this was really for you guys to have for yourself. But yes, we also do greeting cards. Um, we do them in collaboration with a variety of graphic designers and artists um, that are just kind of friends of the brand. So I brought a few here. This one um, was really our New Year's card. Oh, that's was so done beautiful. in green this year because this year's a sabbatical. Um, in terms of sort of the cycles on the Jewish calendar um, and three of our like really popular ones, a Shabbat Shalom card, which is something I was always looking for and could never find anywhere. Hold them up. For oh, sure. The... For those of you who are, well, I mean, most people are just listen to this in their car saying. Saying, okay. what is she doing? What's no, happening? No, it's beautiful. <laughs> no, we connected with you. No, no, there was, there's, an, there's an energy in this. Uh, um, so now we know wh- where to get your items. and um, It really is the gift of light. It's the gift of light. Thank you so much for coming on. And um, that's it, folks. Uh, thanks for listening. And uh, I'm at Modi, M-O-D-I, live, L-I-V-E, M-O-D-I-L-I-V-E dot com. Shows are uh, coming up. I think by the time this airs, I will just have the... Um, the Fort Lauderdale show, October 26th, and the Skokie Chicago show, November 9th. I will see you all there. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you guys for bringing this beautiful Dana to, uh, to, to, to light. Thanks Bye. for having Bye. me, guys. Bye.